Good morning, children. How are you all today? So, did you all enjoy on Friday and Saturday? Welcome to our UW lesson. Let's see what do we have today. But before that, do you remember what we learned last time? Can you tell me, children? You're right. We learned about forces. We learned about force and types of force, push and pull. Push means when we push things, the things go away. And when we pull, the things come closer to us. So let's say children, what is our objective for today? Our objective for today is learners will learn about technology and how we are surrounded with technology. And our learning outcomes are, by the end of the lesson, learners will be able to learn what is technology, why do we need it, different things which we work on, technology, and how we are surrounded with technology. Children. Mm, what do you think it is? A telephone? Mm, a camera? Or is it a table or a chair? Mm, would you consider it as a technology? Let us investigate further. Technologies are things created by humans that can make our life easier and problem solving. So I wonder why do we need technology? We need technology because it makes our life easier or more pleasant and work more productively. Why do we use technology, children? Let's see. Workplace. School. Hospital. And also at our home. Hmm, what are the things we use as technology children? Okay children, now let us look at the different technologies we use at workplace. Look at this girl. What is she using children? Yes, you can see a laptop in front of her. How a laptop is a technology? Yes, you're right. Laptop is a technology because it can help us in so many ways. So many tasks are easier when we use laptop. It stores data and saves our time. We can play video and music in it too. And look at this man. What he is using children? Have you seen something like this? Yes, he is using a printer. A printer is used to take copy of our work. Let's talk about internet. What is internet children and how it is considered as technology? Yes, you're right. It allows you to connect to people when we are far. With internet, we can exchange data in very short time. Look at our lessons children. How are you getting the lessons? Because of what you can see them? Yes, it's all because of internet. You can see the lessons, you can do the assignments and submit them because of internet and teachers get it instantly. Let us see what is next. What is this children? Yes, it's a telephone. How do we use telephone children? Yes, through telephone we can talk to our loved ones. That is how this technology helps us. 
Okay children, next we will talk about the technologies used in school. Hmm, look at this children. What is this? Yes, it is a smart board. Do you remember using it in your classroom? Yes, of course. Teachers connect their laptop to the smart board and we do lots of activities like online games, reading and writing activities. Hmm. Next, let's talk about the projector. Through the projector, we can see videos and other shows in bigger screen. And what is this, children? Have you seen something like this before? Yes, you're right. It is a calculator. Calculators calculate the difficult sums which we cannot do easily. Hmm. Again, the telephone is also used in the school in order to receive and call people for different purposes. And iPad. iPad is used by many students in the school in order to research and do lots of activities in it. Now, let us have a look at the different technologies we use in hospitals. Look at this man, what he is using, children? Yes, he is using a computer. Okay, I wonder, children, why does he use computer in hospital? Yes, because we can store data like the details of patients, appointment details and also medicine names etc and what this doctor is using here yes it is a thermometer thermometer measures our body temperature here is the list of technologies we use at home let's have a look at the first one what is this, children? Yes, it is a refrigerator or fridge. Refrigerators store food for many days without spoiling them. And what is this, children? Do you have like this one at home? Yes, it is an oven. We can heat or cook food quickly in oven. And this is a blender. With the blender, we can crush the things in short time. Think about if what, what if we are using our hands to crush or blend the things? Mm, it will take quite a long time. Okay, next is alarm clock. Alarm clock allows us to set a time to wake up. Let's talk about AC. AC controls the temperature accordingly. Mm, what is this, children? Yes, it's a vacuum cleaner. It helps us to clean the house deeply. Look at this picture. What is this, children? Yes, it is a washing machine. What do we do with washing machine, children? Mm, you're right. We wash our clothes with washing machine. But think, what if there is no washing machine? What if we are washing the clothes with our hands? Yes, you're right. It will take a long time to wash all these clothes with our hands. And also, a shower is considered as technology. Apart from this, there are other technologies which makes our life easier. So let's have a look at it, children. Hmm, look at this first picture. What is this? Do you remember? Yes, it is signal light. But I wonder, children, have you seen somebody who is switching on it or changing it from green to yellow, yellow to red, red to yellow? I don't know. I have never seen a person standing near to that who changes these lights. Hmm, yes, you're right. There is no one who is changing or switching it on or switching it off. 
The signal lights are already programmed in the com computer which controls them. And what is this, children? It is an elevator lift. How do we use it and why do we use it, children? And what will happen if we don't have elevator lift? Mm, you're right. Elevator lifts help us to reach to the topest floor in short time. What if there are no elevator lift? What if we use our legs to climb on those stairs? Mm, it will give us nice pain in our legs, isn't it? Escalator Metro mm, Now it's activity time. Let's see what do we have in our activity. So, to do this activity, you need to make a web diagram as shown below. Hmm, are you wondering what is a web diagram? Look at this. This is web diagram. Write the word technology in the center of the circle as the topic name. So you have to write the topic name in the center circle. Draw or paste pictures of different technologies you learned today and complete the web diagram. So what you have to do is you have to draw if you can draw or paste. Paste means you can take some old magazines or supermarket brochures to do this activity. Okay. And do not forget to send the picture to your teacher. So thank you and bye-bye children. See you next time. Bye.